So this is my first 3D printed generative sculpture. It's called Fertility Goddess, and I'm very happy with how it turned out. So I'm going to talk a little bit about its design and production. I built this feedback loop in Houdini that takes a warped sphere as an input, you see it here, then transforms it and rotates it by random amounts dictated by these functions here. So here's the random transform. I then take the transform shape and twist it, a random amount, determined by this other function here. So you can see we've got this little twist. Then I convert the original shape and the copy into VDBs to allow for smooth merging and combine them into one surface. So here's this one converted to a VDB, then the original converted to a VDB, and then VDB combine, and you've got both of them together. I then use this shape here, which just expands it a tiny, tiny bit. Um, and then this smooth, which smooths uh, the transitions between the shapes. I then convert these back into polygon surfaces for the process to all start again. So everything in this orange loop is like a feedback loop. It runs out the bottom here, back into the top, and I control the iterations from this operator here. So to get the final sculpture, I run this feedback loop six times to get that level of complexity that I'm looking for. So. If we go over to here, you can see this happening. So this is iteration zero, change to iteration one. So it's just got one copy of itself that's been bent and twisted and transformed. Uh, then we go to another iteration. And so you can see it's starting to take shape. You've got another function happening. Oh, it's also important to note that uh, using this repeat begin metadata lets me get a different seed. So these random translates and rotates and the twist get a random seed each iteration so they get a new value so they're not just doing the same twist or the same transform each time so let's continue to the third iteration so here's the third iteration um, we're starting to get a more interesting shape continue on the fourth iteration starting to get a little bit more interesting a bit of more random transformations and the bends are starting to twists sorry are starting to take more effect there we are there's the fifth iteration and there we are that is the sixth and final iteration making the full sculpture visible just like that next i exported the final smooth version as an stl and opened it in bamboo studio for slicing not really much to show here because I'm still super new to 3D printing, so I'm not trying to dish out advice, but you might notice that I'm using strong tree supports. That's because I tried the hybrid supports and they fell down halfway through printing. And that I'm using support material as an interface between the supports and the sculpture itself, which makes the final result a lot cleaner, but with the added cost of a heap of material changes, which drastically increases the print time. I think it was probably worth it though. So here we are with the final printing time-lapse. This took about two days. Um, you can see a few little stringy bits, but nothing on the sculpture itself. I also ran out of support filament near the end of the print, so I had to switch it out for this green PLA. But apart from that, all good. Final steps were just to pull it out of the printer, remove it from the build plate, violently rip off the supports, and do a little final carving to get rid of any leftover support material. And yeah, here's a montage of the final result. have it. Uh, stay tuned for part two where I'm going to go over making multiple versions based on this system that I built in Houdini from before. And uh, yeah, leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more of my experiments in art.